We're joined now by Jane Wells. She's with our affiliate KTTV. Jane, what can you tell us? Well, Bernard, I'm standing on the 5 freeway right now. This is a major lifeline north and south in California, and it is cut off tonight, as we've been telling you all day. And now they're saying it could possibly be months before this area is cleaned up and open and normal again. Uh, CHP officers were just on top here uh, assessing the situation, seeing how much damage there is. Again, you know, it's miraculous. There was an LAPD officer here who tragically died when his motorcycle came flying off the overpass there, pitch black, at d before dawn, he didn't see that this road had collapsed in front of him. He, he died. But the other drivers here all lived. Even this guy. This guy walked away. The guy who was in this car behind that steering wheel when this came down on him, a freeway overpass. And ironically, back 23 years ago in 1971, this same freeway interchange collapsed during another earthquake and they rebuilt the overpass under new code. I'm going to show you a little bit of that here. Under the new code, they put in this rebar. You can see more of it here. They have these tensioning cables. All of this stuff is supposed to keep these freeway overpasses up at least through a six or seven earthquake. Uh, obviously, you can't prepare for everything, but they were hoping it would survive this. It did not. We saw Caltrans uh, engineers inside crawling through these structures today, trying to find out exactly what went wrong, and that will be the big question here in the coming weeks. And Jane, I should tell our viewers that that uh, police officer from the Los Angeles Police Department was racing in from home. He got on his motorcycle, was racing in from home to assist in the emergency uh, actions by the local authorities here. One quick question before we lose our satellite. What has made the strongest impression on you, a reporter? That's hard to say. I, I think for me, I grew up in this very same area, and I remember as a little girl that 1971 earthquake, which so scared me, and to wake up this morning and to be so scared again and to hear my little girl crying and screaming and having to hold her and tell her it was okay, hand her to her father and run into work, I think personally that's the strongest impression I've had. Hmm. Jane Wells, KTTV, thank you very, very much for all your assistance.